it's that time of the year where you're preparing to put out your pre-emergent to take care of that crabgrass before it even starts. But did you know there is a mixture of next products that you can put out at the exact same time? When my soil temperatures are hitting 55 degrees, not only do I like to put out my pre-emergent of choice, I also like to put out six ounces per thousand of RGS and six ounces per thousand of Humic 12. And here's why. As your grass starts to come out of dormancy, the RGS is gonna assist with the root development. Now, while the grass may look brown and dead on top, underneath, your roots are still strong and sturdy if you've been taking care of them. And the RGS is gonna help as they start to really push those nutrients and that energy up into the leaf tissue. Now, Humic 12 is gonna come in and it's gonna not only help feed the soil around those roots, it's also gonna help unlock trapped nutrients in the soil. So while you did your winter fertilizer application or your winter and you do a spring fertilizer application, anything else that's trapped in the soil, that Humic 12 is gonna unlock and you're gonna get a big time color bump because of that Humic 12. Now my preferred application method here in the front yard, especially because it's only 2,000 square feet, is I like to use the handheld quart size bottles. Those are perfect for this size lawn because all the fertilizer products we have is gonna fit in a 2,000 square foot lawn. And you can mix some of these products together in those quart size bottles. So I've taken my six ounces of RGS for a total of 12 ounces. I've taken my six ounces, total of 12 ounces for 2,000 square feet of the Humic 12 and I'm applying it with the hose and sprayer. Now the key thing with the hose and sprayer is this stuff sprays out, so you can't do really a leisurely pace, but a nice brisk walk. You can go ahead and get everything out nice and evenly, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and water it in briefly or time it with rain. It's not gonna rain here, so I do have to actually turn on my sprinklers, but that's a-okay. And that's pretty much it. You don't really need to be doing any other fertilizer applications right now because it's still not time but you still may see a color bump right now with the Humic 12 after a few days. It just really depends on what your temperatures are doing in the soil. So that pretty much wraps everything up in a nice little bow. The season still hasn't quite gotten started yet. Yes, the pre-emergent is a big step to this season started. Applying this RGS and Humic 12 is gonna make a nice little transition from dormant grass to that first spring application, but we're still kind of slowly getting into things. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my channel down in the description box below, Dadding All Day. Also a bunch of lawn content on there to stay tuned to my channel. Also here, while I did do this application on the front yard, I am gonna be focusing a lot of my time on this channel on my warm season Bermuda grass in the backyard because quite frankly, here in the next DIY Lawn channel, we haven't focused a lot on warm season turf. And I wanna go ahead and correct that with my backyard. So we'll do a little bit here on the front, but most of my attention for next products is gonna be on the backyard this season. So subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. How far away are you from putting down your first applications of the season? I will see you later. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.